Have you noticed we've been breaking a lot of records lately when it comes to dangerous weather? I bet you have. Ida is one of the strongest hurricanes ever to hit Louisiana, but we've had a number of storms lately that were, have been described rather as a once in a generation. Mm -hmm. Jeff Barry Dolly is our CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist. I know you have noticed climate I've noticed. specialists. I've been busy. Yeah, what, what is happening here? There's more energy in the system. Whenever you have more energy in the system, you're adding more heat for everything. You know, for fires in the West, you, you evaporate more moisture, the ground gets drier. We, we're having our worst drought in 1,200 years in the West. Um, in the East and in the Gulf of Mexico, water temperatures are warmer. So specifically with Ida, Ida moved over some of the warmest water in the Gulf of Mexico, which has been made warmer by climate change. In fact, Atlantic Ocean temperatures are about two degrees warmer, warmer than they used to be. Now, and ocean, what does warmer weather mean? When you have warmer weather, that translates to what? Well, well, there's more energy storm. for storms to feed off of. So really, for every one degree or two degree increase Fahrenheit uh, in water temperature, you see a 20 mile an hour increase in the intensity of a storm. Mm. That's tremendous. So we're looking at these surface yep. temperatures. I mean, 88 to 90 degrees is really bathtub temperature. It is. So first it moved over ocean heat content, the loop current in the Gulf of Mexico. Then it moved over surface waters that were 88 to 90 degrees. So yeah, this is high octane fuel. It's like putting steroids into a storm. The storm is still going to happen. It rapidly intensified. In fact, rapid intensification has increased five miles an hour per decade for the past four decades. And now it is two times more likely that a hurricane will jump from a run of the mill hurricane to a major Cat 3, Cat 4, Cat 5. Two times more likely now in the Atlantic Ocean because primarily of climate change and a warmer climate. It's almost a vicious cycle, too, because it, as it ramps up energy in one place, it does something else someplace else. Some places get drier, some places get wetter. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. So if you're dry, you get drier. If you're wet, you get wetter. And, uh, you know, oh, by the way, I have a question for you. So comparing a storm 75 miles an hour to 150 miles an hour, mm -hmm. how much more damage potential do you think there is? Don't say double. 200 times. You, you saw the graphic. No. There must have been 250 I times more. 250 it? times more damage potential. You're a genius. How did you know Michelle that? Michelle is a, she's a genius. <laughs> I had That's an inkling. Because I know, I, you like know, I, I, I live with hurricanes. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you, you live in the Gulf, it's, you, you keep your eyes open. So that's why a couple of degrees really, really matters. And remember, the most vulnerable people, the ones that are suffering the most, and they contribute the least to climate change. I just know when you're in the building, that means something. That means, the grim, that means the Grim Reaper is <laughs> here. Normally, it's not something good, but we're always glad to see you because you've got great information. Glad to be here. Yeah.